It's a horrifying tree monster! Who could ever stop such a horrible thing? It's running amok! In one place! Who can help the Tingle team? How about you? Welcome back to Tingle's Balloon Trip of Love. The gas apple seeds have become a gas apple monster. You just made a terrible mess. Now, Baron Nimi has nothing to do with it. He's right there. He's a rich person, not a knight. And she has absolutely nothing to add to this. And Iona... She's passed out. So it's up to us. Time to battle the formidable fiery fruit gas apple. Somehow. It's gonna attack us! No, I'm sorry, I lied to you, lion. No, we don't want to run. We have to take care of this thing once and for all. It's a boss fight. Lion, do something! Freaky! I have no idea. That's even too much for the robot. So Tingo has to lead the team to defeat this horrible creature. Uh, Breaky. Love analysis? Five hundred force units? Holy cow. So we gotta counter this thing immediately. And, and it's gonna about to ram us again! Ah, uh, Lion! Can you handle five hundred force units? Guess there's only one way to find out! Yeah, it's stunned! Tinkle could go in there and, I don't know, do a visceral on it. Jab your hand right in that opening and pull out rupees. Yeah, I can't see in there and... Tingle won't enter that area. And it's tackling us again! Oh, we know how to handle the tackle now. Lion, it's all up to you! Super Fighting Lion Force, go! Oh, it's stunned. Tingle can't do anything. Uh, Kakashi, go in there and straw it up a bit. That'll show him. He got kakashi right in the face! And I was hanging from it! Hey, that looks like a prime spot for Tingle to do some damage. Time to use our special slingshot techniques. Freshly picked rosy rupee shot! It works! Yeah, it's still alive though. I hope those gas apples are okay. What the heck is that thing? That's no gas apple. It looks like a grenade apple. Uh, Breaky, analyze this. Yeah, you don't say. So, it looks like it's going to explode. Oh, the lion can't do anything about this. And it's hot, so I don't want Kakashi to touch it. Uh, Breaky! Do something with it! Yeah, that'll do. And it gets exploded. So that cheesed it off. It's coming at us again. So we know the pattern by now. Throw a grenade at it. Have a lion shove it. Kakashi gets to dangle from it for a little bit. And I hit it with one of my special tingly shots. Alright, Kakashi, it's all up to you. You know the drill. Uh oh. You're not Kakashi. Yeah, Lion, what are you gonna do in that situation? It's all up to you! Relatively simple puzzle boss. Good job, Kakashi. You're a great boy. It's kind of swinging in front of the eyes, though. This is gonna be difficult. Let's try to tingle balloon fighting shot! One more eye to go. And he'll give up the goods. Hopefully the ghost, too. Wait a second, that's not an explosive grenade apple. Oh no, Lion! He's been incapacitated! Oh, what can we do with Lion now? Bricky, tell us how. You know everything. Uh, 
No, oh, that's very fragile to begin with. Are you saying that he needs some therapy? Because I think he needs some therapy. Well, that's gonna take a couple turns. We're not scared of that grenade right now. Currently, Lai is scared of everything, and we need him to flip this guy. Wake up. Yeah, now you got your fighting spirits back. We saved it from your butt. That's where his fighting spirit goes and he gets scared. And then Bariki can kick the grenade! Bariki, you seem to be the star of this boss fight. You're doing everything! Except, you know, exposing it. That's Lion's job. Speaking of Lion, it's all up to you, buddy. We believe in you! Give it all you got! And one last time, Verti Giffer. Oh, there's three holes this time. Uh, it coordinates with the eyes. Uh, I'm gonna go with this one. I think this is the one for the eye that's up there. Go for it, Kakashi! Oh, I chose wrong! This dead ends now! Which means we have to go through the cycle again. Uh, that's annoying. Yeah, Lion got scared again. So we have to waste a turn to wait for the grenade to come out. Yeah, Lion's a chicken. Who wouldn't be surprised? Everything frightens him. Alright, we get the grenade. We get Bariki to save Lion, because we need him. And then she kicks back that grenade. So I appreciate the effort that they, they, they shoved that boss fight into a point-and-click adventure, but all the text kind of breaks up the, the pace of the whole thing. So even though this is a thrilling boss fight, all things considered, it's ruined by the point-and-click mechanics. Right. I'm gonna try that other hole I was thinking about this time. One of these holes will lead to the right direction. So we know it's not the bottom one. I think that one will lead to the, the eye we need to get to. Again, I picked the lion. This is wrong. Go, Kakashi, go! Oh, again? Criminy! Well, you know what? I have time powers. It's time power time! We're doing this extra fast. I whipped out the balloon when nobody was looking. No, it's totally not an emulator thing. I can do these extra fast. I like how it has to gloat right before the grenade explodes. And just to let you know, if you fail any part of this boss fight, like you get rammed by this guy without do using Lion, or um, you let that grenade go off, you'll be knocked off the screen and you'll have to do it all over again. So let's not have that happen. Okay, well, process of elimination, there's only one hole left. I thought it coordinated with, like, the position of the eyes up on the top screen, but I guess that's not the case. It's, it's just a 33% chance. And you just have to do this boss over and over again. Speaking of which, we don't want to hit Kakashi because he'll fall off the boss, and we'll have to do this all over again. Look at him swing! Oh, this is gonna require my best shot. The ripening tingle love shot! Gas apple is defeated! And it spreads gas apples far and wide. Wow, it's raining fruit! The village is saved. The gas apples are harvested. That's a lot of gas apples. Who wants to bet these are not very efficient, and we'll get, like, one barrel out of this? Tingle victory! At least it's a lot better than his victory poses from the first game. Because he has friends this time. And they weren't paid to do things for him. Who is talking, anyway? Th that can't be, um... That can't be gas, is it? Oh, hey, Iona. Yeah, no one's ever saw that coming. You'd think they'd write that in a book. Well, everyone's okay. That's a good thing. 
<laughs> Maybe you should evict Baron Nimi out of the town? Because he would do something terrible in another timeline. So, how do you gather the gas apples when they turn into horrible monsters? Do they have like a team of four and one uses a slingshot and one's really small? The other one could lift about 500 force and the other one's a robot? Because I haven't seen many of those people in town. Ow, oh, that was quick. You guys are really on the job. Yep, I'm ready to pick up my one barrel of gas apple fruit. Or gas apple juice. I wonder what it tastes like. <laughs> Asking for a tingle. Oh, hey, Save Pig. You missed an awesome boss fight. Let me tell you all about it. In a manner of saving. So we accomplished the unaccomplishable. This is totally accomplishable. We're now heroes! There you go, Safe Pig. Wasn't that cool? That was a big boss. Too bad it, it, it was like broken up by all that point and click stuff. Yep, no gas apples anymore. They're gone now. Huh, something's weird going on with this picture. Hmm. I feel something. I sense a drifter bodyguard! I knew it! I can smell a drifter bodyguard from a mile away. Oh, way to go, Yamori. Too bad he smelled like something I remember from the last game. Yeah, you did look kind of silly. An urban setting, you say? Like some kind of city? Hey, that's rude. You're an incapable ninja. So we found Yamori hidden in the flower bed. Secret gets. Oh, there's two secrets here. Ah, I forget what the other one was. Oh well. Well, at least he got rid of the ninja scourge as well. I knew it, it was just one barrel. Ah. These are the worst gas apples. Probably because we roughed them up too much, they got bruised. That's exactly what we were here for. They made fuel! Weren't you selling fuel before, though? Well, oh, anyway, we're still heroes. Let's just take our one barrel of gas apple juice. And do we fix that leak that's in the engine? Or, or we'll just have this problem all over again. Well, I'm sure the part's taken care of it the entire time we were here. Like, the whole two days. Even more so when you consider the videos. Yeah, I suppose we are. Well, I'll come back someday, but it, it'll be in the past, probably. Because time travel. Don't think into it too much. Well, I love push pushed all the women in town. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's much, much here anymore. Oh, also that, that monster tree. That, that monster tree's gotta go. Oh, uh, where's my map? There it is. Yeah, that monster tree... He wasn't much of a threat. Yeah. He was kinda lousy. Ah, this eraser is terrible. It's a regular tree now. It's a regular tree. Let me just adjust this a little bit. Give it cartoony things. Yep, there we go. Monster tree defeated. Now I could sell that map for like a billion rupees and I wonder why there's a giant knocked out tree on it. And I'll say that's part of the collector's value. Ow, oh, and we were only here a few days. And we'll be heroes of the dungeon too. Well, how's the fueling going, Lion? Yeah, I wondered where they ran off to. I guess we have more of a reason to go through the town after all. I, I wanted to click, yeah, on that. 
So he's dealing with the refilling. That might take a while. Probably a giant tank. Still not quite sure why we need fuel when it's supposed to run on steam. I guess we need the fuel to boil the water, right? Now, knowing Kakashi, he's probably hanging out with the old men. Because he loves giving those back massages, apparently. Yeah, that's exactly right. You can't have our Kakashi! He is our Kakashi, get your own! Well, you did a good job, too! He was a very brave boy that fought a monster by climbing inside of it. It will actually was something. Give us rupees. Give us lots and lots of rupees, or we'll bring back the gas apple monster. I'll find a way to. Eh, you got a monkey. That, that really doesn't... How, Kakashi? Uh, he, he tried for a sensitive moment, but he just can't handle that. He's still a good boy, though. So that's Kakashi back at the train. Yeah, we were, weren't we? Kind of got her out of her shell. Filled up one of her hearts. Got her some uh, new product in town. She could sell the gas apple seeds to like the fruit vendor or whatever. We made a new industry here. Well, you know, uh, orbital industries. <laughs> Yeah, she has a non-stick surface. <laughs> Oil to the chassis! Beauty tip by Bariki. Wow, did you consider that a lot? We usually get her chattier than that. So Bariki was learning how to woman. Good for her. Alright, mission accomplished! We got everybody! Maybe it's gas apple oil. You know, maybe it has many uses besides filling up trains. Tingle trains! So now we are done with this place. Auntie Fortune Teller found the flower she was looking for. I learned how to love push. Ah, speaking of love pushes, I could uh, go back and buy some things. Nah, I got time powers now. I'll deal with that as it comes to it. It's time to finally leave the vegetable village and move on with our adventure. I think we spent enough time here. Well, it's a very big village. It takes a long time to walk through. We're finally leaving! Finally, we can activate our super awesome train! I hope it didn't rust on the whole time we were here. Uh, the situation's normal, right? We're ready to get tingly. Well, let's just check with the train parts, make sure nothing else is broken. Hey, you guys... Hey, somebody's missing. A couple people are missing. Okay, where is Let's and Go? What are they doing? Ah, <sighs> no wonder Breaky told me to check it out. Gas, have you seen Let's and Go? No? Nowhere? Well, that's it with the juice. Ting the Tingliner is filled! I haven't seen Tingliner in a while and I forgot the name of the train. Oh, there they are! I thought they went and had another race. Well, nobody was looking. So they fixed a problem that Piona started. Pionya, I should start calling him that. Her that. It that. They're racing back to the engine now. My sentiments exactly. 
So it's finally time to leave the vegetable village. I guess so, Iona. And thanks to... Love ya, we learned how to love push, too. So you still have two hearts I need to fill, though. I don't seem to have the items for those. Sounds to me like that involves time travel. This has been a long departure. Let's just get out of here already. I'm ready to see that city. Why don't you just come along? You're kind of wearing green. Huh? Think about it. Yeah, well, I guess you'll think about it later. Alright, uh, I guess I'll be seeing you then. Everybody ready? This train hasn't moved in a long time. So we're not quite at the city yet. We still have a few more stations to go. Which means more pages and puzzles. Well, I know how to operate my train by now, I think. Tingliner, activate! Yeah, what is it? Hell, I hate when ladies do this! Oh! I see where this is going. She wants more of the tingle. Well, we can't really do that right now. But see you later! He is pretty weird, isn't he? Now she's thinking about it. Thus, the end of page 8. Pretty short page. Just a boss fight, really. But the train is working again! We're leaving for page 9. The day is saved! When we say goodbye to... One of the only girls that didn't, like, abuse Tingle. Oh, okay, she abused Tingle a little bit, but not too much. No, oh, this doesn't look good. That doesn't look like a city. And there goes the Tingliner! <laughs> oh, it sounds familiar and I hate it! <laughs> it stink again! He's been spying on us. I have a feeling that Stink was behind it all. Also, what's with the weird graphical glitching going in the trees? I see that. Oh, his name is Sig Gale. I prefer Stink. Yeah, despite your efforts. Quite a mama's boy, aren't you, Stink? So, there's another actor, and it happens to be his mother. And he's royalty! So, his mom wants Tingle to go to the city. Sounds like a bigger plot is afoot. Something involving the princess. Oh, he's gonna lay more than a finger on her, let me tell you. Oh, it, it, all my nicknames are being ruined! Piona is actually called you Mare. You know what? I like my names better. Yeah, psych gag. What can I say? Broken hearts, I'm leaving. 
Love's a bitter game. I'm going on the rails with the tingly train. It got into my brain and I had to make it stop somehow. Yeah, you were supposed to show it to other people. Why didn't you show it in the village? No, she's made out of magic or something. That makes Kakashi very important. You see, that thing tied around his neck is the whole reason why he's here. Yeah, I think we all think you're a child there, Kakashi. How long have you been built? Well, that makes you a kid. And here's Bariki again. <laughs> She's got magnet boots or something, I guarantee it. Oh, that's just Stink and Piona. What do they want? <laughs> what are you up to now? <laughs> Squished them flat with our train. <laughs> They're up to another devious plot. Oh my god! Freaky! We need to have a talk. Would you stop doing that? Everyone is shocked by what they've just seen. You were indeed scaring everyone. Also, why are your hands now like feet? Oh god, hang on everybody. Magnet boots at maximum, Bariki. Something tells me we could have reacted to this better. Oh no, we lost the... the yellow tracks. These are the brown tracks. Probably gonna take us to the sewer of the city. Oh, that's a lot worse. Somebody throw their brakes, then! We have brakes on this thing! They've worked before! We got 30 seconds to do something. Let's not waste them reading text. I know what the emergency brake does for Mariki. Don't tell me what to do. Ah, Kakashi, now's not the time for this. I, I mean, we, we got plenty of time, right? Yeah, that's not an emergency break? What about this? What about over here? Is this an emergency break? It's not good at all. Uh, parts? Okay. Something tells me this timer is completely unnecessary. Because all we have to do is flip the switch. Why did we need a 30 second timer for that? I will never know. That's what happens when you stand in the front of the train, Breaky. At least she stopped doing what she was doing. What the hell is that about? Yay, I did a simple task. Yeah, this is these modern trains for you. That and we're on the wrong tracks again. You can't stand a lot of things, Lion. You've got heart problems, I think. Yeah, about her. Aw, oh, I saw her go flying into the garbage. Breaky, now's not the time to be silly. I guess she doesn't have magnet boots after all, she's just a daredevil. Yeah, she does that from time to time. Oh, wait, no, that's not normal. Well, I might as well check the sparkly things, right? It could be rupees. It's rupees! In the garbage! What were they thinking? Don't throw rupees in the garbage. Okay, Bariki. Enough's enough. Just get out of there. Use your robot power. Come on, you got jet boots or something. Kakashi, you can do something about this. You just poke her with straw. You know you'll want to. 
Yeah, she's stuck in there with 100 force again. Maybe Bariki weighs 100 weights, and that's the reason why Lion's the only one that could pull her out. Oh! oh. Uh... I think we broke it. She's our robot, Lion. Come on. Okay, Lion's gonna be, uh, struck comatose for a little while. Yeah, I know, her head's in there somewhere. It's called She's Broken. This next page, we're gonna be fixing a bariki. Her head is missing. Uh, can, uh... Does she have, like, a secondary speech unit? No, no she doesn't. Okay. Alright, uh, I gotta do everything because Lion's a coward. This looks like it's important. I lost poor Bariki. I knew her well. So we got Bariki's head. Lion, we have Bariki's head now. You can stop freaking out. We got... Ah. I don't know what I'm gonna do with you. I mean, we just slapped this thing right back on, right? Yep, that did it. Yeah, that's an easy fix. Oh! Hey, it's Holographic Yoda guy again! Well, he had a little bit more to say that time. Yeah, you had that uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi jump out of your head again? <laughs> oh, Bariki knows it's important. These tracks are not yellow. <laughs> so we're stuck in some kind of junkyard, it looks like. We're on the brown line. So, welcome to page 9, chapter 2. Next time on Tingle's Balloon Trip of Love, we're stranded. It's time to find the yellow tracks. Good night, folks.